So today we are having new carpets fitted because we got rid of the other ones, didn't we? They were beige, and I didn't like them. And we got dirty and stuff because of all the dust. And we threw them away and I regretted it ever since, I have. <laughs> well, it's all, the laminate's not bad, but Chico finds it cold, doesn't he? And it's slippy, isn't it, and stuff. So yeah. it makes a van quieter as well. And it's probably the wrong time of year going into summer, is it? I don't know, they get muddy in the winter anyway. But we Take can your be shoes clean. off, that's what you need yeah. to do. You need to be taking your shoes off. There we are, look at this. Uh, don't put the Uber on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't believe well, when I get home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna leave him to it. We're gonna pick a colour. You get to pick your colour of carpet as well. And uh, you can do it before, right? can't you? Can we? We've yeah, done it before, picked, haven't we? Uh, you picked fifteen thirty-eight. That's it. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that'll fit nicely in here. So we're gonna let this young man crack on, and I'll show you the before and after. Um, you could have a job with us. Got I'm, I'm going to see you matching today, aren't Merchie. you? Yeah, they were. <laughs> yeah, they were. They could have got there we are. Look at that. So, the red sections. Yeah. Front seat cab down the middle. Yeah. Down the back. Piece from there to there. Yeah. yeah. That piece will go and across there. there. Yeah. yeah. Smash it in and then I'll, uh, I'll make your match as well. When, when, when your guy came last time, oh. he cut some little bits and put down there and we stuck them down. So, can, can you do it? No, like it was that? actually attached to the thing. It actually, it was yeah, actually I part of that, wasn't it? End, didn't we? Because it, yeah. little, it mm. went down. Is that all right? Yeah, so it was straight down there. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it. No problem. Other than that, we, yeah. Cracking. Smash it. <laughs> take about two hours. Yeah, we'll leave it with you. Two and a half hours. Do you want a problem at all? I'm all right, thanks. Well, well, so you can help yourself. I like my water. Makes up for the weekend. Uh, Brilliant. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so you get to pick your edging as well. Let's see what I'm going to have a look at. Oh, Put on man. That sounds at the bottom, we thought. That one? Oh, yeah, love that. And that's the one that goes nice with it. I yeah. Think. That's fine. It's got a bit of yeah. both in it. It's like yeah. a slight contrast, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, if you have it light, nice. it picks muck up and stuff, so that's yeah. fine for us, that Smash one. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Right. As I said, we had one before, but it was beige. And I've reupholstered everything to go grey anti, so look at that. Oh, it makes it look so warm. It just looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. Quality on that. So if you're looking for a carpet for your motorhome or caravan, give these guys a call. We contacted them on the internet. Uh, they sent us samples out of something that we wanted, a, a grey colour, like five different samples. You can go to them directly at Carnfuff or they come to you like they've come to us. Two hours, all done, but we are so happy. Our van looks so much nicer now, as you've seen. Well, look at this. Another van life problem. What was it? I took the trap off underneath. I think you've got food got, gone down. I cleared it all out and it looks like it's clear now. Yeah. It just wasn't going down at all, was it? But doing it with water like that, it rinses the pipe out from there. There was loads of food and stuff come out. I kept fishing it out. Oh dear me. As you can see, the van is an absolute big star because we're getting it ready for Europe, aren't we? We've got to get everything sorted, turned around, clothes wise, change everything. Cupboards cleaned, oh my goodness, there's stuff everywhere. So yes, we're in the right in the middle of getting the van at ready to go back to Europe. Everything's getting cleaned, spring cleaned, bedding changed, the lot. <sighs> Hard work. Well, that was five days ago and we've not picked the camera up since. Why have we not picked the camera up, Mark? It's all been really poorly, hasn't it? Really poorly. To a stage where we thought we might not be making this ferry later this week because well, we've had not. I even saying yesterday morning when I, if I still feel like this, I'm not in a fit state to drive it. I think I've had China Ritus and that something. China Ritus, oh man, but you haven't even had any takeaway food. Maybe that's what it were. Mm. No, he has been seriously really ill. Well, so he says that I, I call it man flu. Mm. Would you call it man flu? No, no it's, it's, it's the worst flu ever because Mark's had it. I've been rough, but we, has, we've but, got stuff done in the fashion, haven't we? Like? Oh, God, it's been like... We had seven days to get ready, didn't we? Five of that's just been completely rotten off. Well, service of van, and I've done things, all the f fuel filters and stuff, and the air and the oil filter, and checked Ooh. it over. We had to keep going and sitting down in between. And then we found out a uh, skylight on the roof, the actual bathroom one we're hanging off, wasn't it? <laughs> which probably was the wind from Scotland. It will have been the wind from Scotland, so definitely. I've tried to get a new cover for it and it's obsolete you have to buy the full skylight so i've fixed it i've made some little plates around and then stuck that back on and that's all right and safe now isn't it yeah so. it's just been an absolute nightmare since mm. the night we booked the ferry everything's mm. just gone wrong hasn't it yeah 
Yeah, so, and it's not out with the weather either, has it? It's been all right ish, hasn't it? Oh, and I've see, tried to seal the skylight, but I still don't know. But I showed you on one of the previous videos. Yeah, it was dripping in, weren't it? A little bit. Well, it's hard to tell whether it's working or not. do not look like it. We just haven't got time to be taking it anywhere to get things, parts and stuff, have we? Yeah. And getting them fixed. Scotland just feels like a distant memory now, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. 25 places in Scotland, towns and villages. Was there any cities? There wasn't anywhere. Oh, Glasgow. In, in, Inverness and stuff. Yeah, 25 uh, yeah. places we visited in Scotland. Going through that list that you put up on the last channel, the other night, my daughter came in and said, 25 places you've been in, in Scotland. So. And then more what we didn't film, a few bits I think if I remember we didn't film. but uh, True, but we mentioned it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been, and a lot of you have been still messaging saying, you can't believe that we've gone, we had to. Um, and then everyone was saying, you, your time's your own, why have you had to go? Because we do have a few commitments coming up this year, don't we? Mm. So, and we don't want to be in a heat wave in uh, Europe again. So we don't want to be going in June, July. Yeah. We want to be going March, April, May, and come back for uh, June and July in England. So where... it's, it's official Thursday. This video's on Tuesday tonight. Um, on Thursday, if you're watching it on the Tuesday, then we're still in England. But Thursday morning, we're on the ferry, aren't we? Yeah, so... Thursday morning, we're booked on. Mm -hmm. uh, we're having to do this pretty quick because we have no content for you at all. So yeah. we, we thought we'd tell you what's happening and what's coming next for Novena's on tour. A lot. This, uh, like I say, we were in the planning stage, weren't we? Yeah, it's we busy, don't yeah. plan a lot, but we're planning, we plan at least a couple of days ahead. Yeah. But we're looking at getting off the ferry and going through france getting to somewhere like belgium bruges yeah we're gonna I, I sort of talked about stopping at that place where we stopped last year on our second trip to europe can you remember yes. however we'll there's nothing we can't go around the town again so we'll probably pick if it's not raining we'll pick another village or town and stop and have a look around there because yeah. we do like them northern french towns um yeah there's what are free and stuff don't yeah. we? in the supermarkets especially so oh. and then we are heading to the netherlands aren't we more or less I think yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I like I say nothing's set in stone this is a rough idea of what we're looking at I've been trying to work out because we're taking our e-scooters we're back on them I'm so happy about I that I can't yeah. wait so they're all charged up ready to go back on we're going to put them on, on the van hopefully in, in a little bit before we head off um, I've been trying to look to see if they're legal or not I think they're I think they're a bit borderline in oh, Amsterdam. Really? Yeah, all the people on bikes, but I think that yeah, I think that. They I might can remember be someone illegal. telling me that e-scooters and bikes were just as dangerous over there. So, mm. I, but don't I think know. we'll just go on them and people. If you know yourself, if you have been to Amsterdam or Netherlands and more over Amsterdam, because I think we're going to park on the outskirts and screw train, aren't we? Five yeah. six miles in. Let um, us know. If, <laughs> yeah, if you if you think for sure, just let us know in the comments. It will help us out because I, I've tried to Google it and it's all a bit vague. We know they're illegal in the UK still. It's still ongoing. Um, but we're not bothered. I know when we get to France and everywhere else, we should be alright, yeah. shouldn't we? So yeah. So after that, we're heading to Germany. We're going to spend quite a bit of time in Germany. There's nothing set in stone. We're just going to see. I, I still like. I wouldn't mind going to Spain again. But yeah, yeah sort of. I'm on about coming down, Mark. You're not going to go from Netherlands to Spain, are you? Mm. So we're going to hit quite a few different. Like I said, we've no no places in Germany to hit as of yet. Um, again, we've had so many suggestions you to, off you guys. You want to go some sightseeing rather than do everything where you're looking around because there's no charity shops, which I'm happy about. But rather than do, how just do you know you've never been to Germany? There might be. There might be. But after we've been around there and stuff, you want to go to that place, don't you? It's, it reminds me every time you say it. If anyone who's old enough or might remember a, a car called the Triumph Dolomite. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but yeah, yes, you yeah. Can. It's it's a place I've always but, wanted to go, but we've never gone anywhere near. Now mm. we're heading down to the Dolomites, mm. so now that I am, I am buzzing for. I can't wait for so that. We're maybe have a look around there, put the drone up there a bit. Hey, eh? it's a bit of sightseeing. But our channel's not just about sightseeing, is it? We have also got for Germany. We've got the emission sticker, haven't we? It's a number four. It's a green sticker. So I think it's for twelve months. So we can go in the city centres now. Yeah. We we we're good to go with that. It's the first time we've ever bothered, isn't it? Someone sent me a message today, actually asking. Uh, you'll know this. Do you need a V five and a cert? Cert clean air sticker for France. Yeah, well, uh, well, you can if you go in the centres, but our sat nav avoids us. We don't send because we're not really we're transiting That's through. That's for France the clean air. Go. You need your V five. Oh yeah, you need you need your logbook or your V five. You definitely definitely need that. Not a photocopy or anything. If it's not your vehicle, you can apply for. Uh, I can't think of what it is now, but it's a a certain like if it's an hire vehicle, whether it's a, a, a loan motorhome or whatever you've hired it, you can get a certificate from like RAC. 
uh, and it's like a vehicle on an eye. So you definitely need to take something because if you do get pulled up and the asteroid and you haven't got it, you're going to be in trouble. Um, but yeah, a V5, copy your insurance, a couple of paper copies, which we've just done today. We've yes. had to go and get them printed <laughs> out. Um, and stuff like that, really. Yeah, just just the, just the stuff like that. I've also got the MOT paperwork if, if it's needed. Make sure you've got your vests and bulbs and warning triangles in case you break down. And just Google it. it on the internet. It tells you exactly what you need. Make sure it's to, up to date. We don't <laughs> tend to go on too much because I must admit, a G, a, a, well, it's not GB, but UK sticker on the back, It was, it's all flapping and loose. But to be fair, when you get into Europe and you see some of the state of some of the other vehicles, I've, I've seen so many English vehicles and you and we know UK stickers on. So yeah. once it's come off altogether, it can stay off because that's the second one we put on now, isn't it? So... Yeah, so it's been a few uh, busy hours, shall we say, because it's the first day you've been yeah, feeling better, just, isn't it? it? To be fair, when you use your van all the time and you're living in it, it's surprising. Like I say, not only did we go up on the roof and I fixed that thing, I noticed one of the corners, one of the mountains on the solar panel were, were loose. I think water's got under, it's frozen and broke the seal, so I've had to take that out carefully without destro destroying the rest. And I've also put another two extra mounts in with some uh, adhesive, so it should, should be all right now, if it sets in time before Thank we go. Thank God they didn't fly off up I'm in Scotland. That, the front one's <laughs> solid, but the back one, I, I, I don't know, I don't know why it was just that. It's good to have a check. Um, fix that worktop on the kitchen worktop. Oh yeah, the... and we've got a new table. Yeah. Yeah, so show them the new table. So that's your new table. What colour code to go with the carpets, as you can see? Yeah, the round one. Love it. it Absolutely will... love it. it. Swivels round and everything, yeah. but cheap corsets it's there anyway. Get... It, it, I'd like to be fair. It, it, it were a bit expensive, wasn't it? That to be honest, but for the size of it, yeah, but it's good quality, isn't it? Yeah. So, but it's done now, and it's it don't get in way. So when we place it, it can stay up and put us. And you can do your editing on yeah. it, can't you? Yeah. I fix that worktop. We, only with a like mm. uh, arrow diet. It's all right for now. It keeps mm. water out. Yeah, you've 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 keeping the water. Through. Oh, I won't even show you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't even go on there. It's all right, though, isn't it? You know. Again, if anyone knows anyone that can colour match it perfectly, get in contact mm. with us for when yeah. we get well, back. It'll be all right for now, won't it? Like I say, because we're using it all the time, aren't we? I've seemed to have done nothing but be fixing things all the time. I've just washed the van off as well. It looks mint now outside. It does look lovely. It and it, to be really fair, good. it's not. I'm not done a very good job, but it's raining and stuff. So I've just washed it off with a jet wash, and it looks better than it does. It's surprising how white it is, isn't it? So yeah, she was like, I thought she was yellow actually. And, uh, <laughs> For the past still a few bit months, in some places, isn't it? So now today, I have, we have finally just gone to the post office, and we have sent off the last of the mugs. Uh, unfortunately, if you message us now, we just do yeah. not have time to go to the post office anymore now. Um, I did remind a few of you, and you've got your last minute orders in. Thank you very much. Yeah. Mugs now, I can't send them from Europe, so no, mugs. No, but if you are in Europe, we're taking probably about five of us, aren't we? Because we're quite full up with stuff. We've got some stuff to do, some work with some. Uh companies aren't we what yeah. we're taking so we've got quite a lot of weight so we've about taken about five or six so if you do want to a mug and you see us in wherever we are on our travels let us know yeah we, we, we found two subscribers in scotland didn't we that were wanting some so yeah. we'll have some on the van but very limited now um obviously we won't be sending any more back out till we return back to england for those of you wondering where chico is oh <laughs> chico's here are you ready oh look at this this was sent to us by a lady subscriber called Deborah Tomlinson. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh, mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. bowled over when I saw this. What a likeness, though. It's good, isn't it? That big eyes. Look at the eyes. Look. I can't let Chico get hold of him, Deborah, because <laughs> there'd be nothing left of him. <laughs> yeah. Now, she actually sent Chico got that. Uh, you didn't get anything, did you? Well, you can borrow some of mine if you want. I could do with um, some. Look at these. Things. Look at the headbands that she's made, You've mate. You've got your wearing one, aren't you? I'm wearing one as well, yeah. Straight on me head it went. Look at these. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't thank you enough. I'm absolutely bowled over that you've gone to the effort and time to do it. Thank you very much, Deborah. Yeah, thank you. They're coming to Europe with us for definite. Chico's going to go on dashboard, isn't he? We're yeah. going to put him on the dashboard. Proud of place. So he can travel with us. And it keeps him out of Chico's way as well. Another lady, call, lady calls Sandra. Now, Sandra, I've thrown away... The letter and the the note and the envelope. I'm really sorry with all this him being ill. I thought I can't locate it. I'm sure it was Sandra. If it's not, please let me know and I'll put your name on the next vlog. But look at this. You put a picture of him wearing it. Week, I did, you? yeah. If you check back on our community post, I think you put a picture. It's on Instagram. A little camo jacket. Absolutely spot on. It's one again that zips at the top, and we're just 
Be perfect. Take him for a walk there. Be good. Don't just slip perfect. on at night when you want to take him out for a quick walk, can't they? And she sent me a, a queen bee. Mm. Yay! Love that as well. I found all little places for all these things to go. And you sent cheek or treats, toothbrushes, chews, and another thing you sent me. We get all the presents, us. <laughs> little bag like this. Look at yeah. these. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. Little bracelets. Thank you for sending So that. thank you so much. We'd really do appreciate anything that anyone sends to us. Yeah. I think it's lovely. We've got the best subscribers, haven't we? Uh, there's going to be some things coming up to show you over the coming weeks on the, on the channel. Um, like I say, when we're back in Europe. But I do want to show you right now this little cute power bank. What How cute center. that is. But it's quite heavy. But this is from a company called PowerAd Pro. So it's got these fast charging ports on the front. And once it's fully charged up... Um, It'll charge me MacBook probably three times because I've been using it for for a while now. It's even got a little light on the front. If you look at that, oh, and it's got different colours. You see, different brightnesses, so you can have it as a mood light if you want. So we might be using that at night. You just blinded everyone now, Mark. Yeah, but that it's <laughs> nice and straightforward. There's no gimmicks. You don't charge it on mains. It charges on USB. There's two ports you can charge on USB, and that's it. And you can charge five devices in one go, and it's fast charge capable. Um, so I'd like to thank them for sending that out. Um, it is, uh, it's a cracking little unit. Some details, it's on special offer at me on Amazon. And that, uh, out of the power banks we've been sent, this is nice and portable. And it'll just tuck away in a, in a drawer it or something It is a good like size, that. isn't it? But to charge your MacBook three times, that's all you want, isn't it? And what we'll do is leave it on charge during the daytime when it's sunny. We're getting solar power and it'll charge back up. So, mm -hmm. no brainer, isn't it? That's all you need. Now, what we're going to be using that for, Mark? What we said it'd be our ideal for. Yeah. So... We've been sent out a little uh, <laughs> little tiny, it's a tiny little projector. We took our projector out, what we got a while ago, because it's a pain in the bum, isn't it? It is. It's really big mm. and bulky. And like we've mm. always said, we have like moving arts. We do get a projector out, but it's wires everywhere. Yeah. And we've been looking for something a bit more... Do you want to go down? <laughs> uh, a bit more, shall we say, compact and a bit more user-friendly. Yeah. So we'll show you that in, in an upcoming video. It's a company called Wimius who's sent that out. So, but uh... we've had a quick look at it and we think it's a real good... Yeah. Bit of kit. Yeah. So in regards to going to Europe, if you can think of anywhere you'd like to see us two end up, uh, any beautiful spots, anywhere of interest, you have sent us a few ideas and I appreciate that, um, but three months is a long, long time to cover. Um, so if you can put it in the comments below, it'd be appreciated. Yeah, we like I say, we're going Netherlands, aren't we? We're gonna, we might stop in Belgium a bit, but... You want to go to Amsterdam, don't you? Uh, well, what happens there? No, no. Um, we we can have a look around there, can't we? In Netherlands and some of the other bits, and then like I say, head up to Germany. So we don't want, or head across or whatever. <laughs> we don't want to burn too much time right up the top, because to be fair, a lot of it's going to be based on the weather. And if it's miserable, we're not stopping long in in the place. No, we? we've just done seven weeks in wind and rain, so yeah. and snow. Everything yeah. else we've had thrown at us. So we would like to find somewhere. I'm not expecting heat. That's been the main thing, though, hasn't it? What do you put in your van? What do you take? Because we've got a few things we can swap over. So it is what it is, we isn't it? We have been told it's seasonal over there, and it could be the same as what we've got over here. Well, so. until you get probably a good way down, halfway down through Spain, the weather's a bit at the missing. The next few weeks, it might pick up a little bit, obviously, you know. So, But it is a bit seasonal, like you say. It can change, can it? So I have got a tub under here with a few nice mm. dresses and things in it, just in case. But I, I too, want to go back to Benidorm again, don't I? You know, just for, for a week or something. <laughs> so, And plus, Chico's main vet is there, isn't it? So when yeah. we get his... He needs his... Um, New rabies shot, doesn't he? Yeah, and, and putting in his passport. So when we, we probably go back will there, end up in Benidorm at some point. Yeah, have a, have a week there again and see what we can show you there, different from last time. But if you can think of anywhere that you've been, uh, someone's told me about the Mosel, Mosel River in mm -hmm. Germany. I have got quite a few ideas, but please keep them coming because we need, we do need to think about some really, really good places. Mm -hmm. Somewhere that no one's ever been before. That's what we like to do. The next time you see us, we're either going to be at the ferry, on the ferry, or mm -hmm. even in France. There's one thing I do want to tell you as well. Some of you have already noticed and realised we've not publicised it, but I was doing putting some TikTok videos. I kept saying to people <laughs> I didn't get TikTok. I thought it was full of people dancing around and miming, but I've just been doing a few little clips and some of our snippets out the things if like where Chico's doing things like falling asleep and stuff. So head over to Chico. TikTok. 
have a look for us, search us on there, no one's on tour, give us a follow and watch us videos. We're thinking of maybe putting a bit more content on it, but it's hard work and we do want to concentrate on here, don't we? But there might be some bits on there, some little snippets, seeing before you get to see what's happening on, on uh, YouTube, yeah, video. because we yeah. might be a week or so behind. We're not sure how we're going to carry on making videos, if it's going to be two a week, we just don't know. It, last year, when we were in Europe, I think we had enough for like three a week, didn't yeah. we, at some point? So we'll see so how we it is. we have to get more. Yeah, so we, we don't want to bang out loads of videos and be nothing happening, and so we like to try and give you quality content, as I'm sure you will agree. So yeah, yeah we'll see how it pans out with that, and uh, you just keep your eyes open, especially over on TikTok. And if you see us in Europe, please come and say hello. So many people say, we saw you today, but we didn't want to bother you. Mm -hmm. Come and say hello We've to us. We've still got our stickers on the van, haven't we? We took yeah. the YouTube stickers off, so you can recognise. You think, is that normal on tour? You'll see sticker on the back so, or on the <laughs> sides. Right, mister, we've got a thousand and one things to do. Mm -hmm. Have you got passports? Have you got the money? Yeah, all the passports are in. A bit, little bit of money. We need to get some shopping before we head off, aren't we? But yeah. we've already said we're not going to go mad with the shopping, because I like to go to the supermarket in France, don't I? Have a look at car tyres and stuff like that. Great. And then, uh, that's it, we're head off. So. We'll leave it there for now. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. Give us a comment and tell us where you want to see us end up next. Yep. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, make sure you do subscribe. It's more important than ever now because we're heading to Europe and you don't want to miss in any of our videos. Mm. So, Ding the bell. Mm -hmm. and then you'll get told when Northerners have put another one out. Don't forget we're on Instagram and Facebook if you want more up-to-date news, like Mark said about TikTok. Mm -hmm. I update that daily, so get on there as well. But for now, guys, we will catch you on the next one.